what have we got hiding around the corner? We've got my new Leaf power wall or Leaf house battery. It's fully commissioned and working nicely. So it's um, made up of 42 Nissan Leaf Generation 1 modules. So a seven eighths of an actual full Nissan Leaf battery. Um, it's got battery and BMS equipment on it. That's what these are. All of the conductors and everything are hidden under some conduit because um, you really don't want to cause an accidental short circuit. I'll clip that back on after I'm finished with the video. And over here is the main control of the BMS. That's some very clever stuff. And here is the more basic stuff. Big old fuse box and circuit breaker. And a couple of contactors down there from the Nissan Leaf. So, unlike the BMS I just made a video of down here on a, net, on a cheap electric bike battery that I was complaining about, the BMS on this is amazing. So here we are, battery room. So this is showing what that battery is up to. Blue bars are the individual voltages of each of the cells. I've got 14 series. White dots are the temperatures of the cells. Up here is bypass current. So these two are just at the point where they're pretty much full. So they're at 4.12-ish volts. So it's bleeding power off and just dumping that power. And then these white dots are the temperatures of that bleeding point. We've also got low temperatures, high temperatures, bypass current, kilowatt hours in today, kilowatt hours out today, how charged it is. So much stuff, so much stuff. This is brilliant. We've been running on a set of really, really degraded lead acids for three years because um, we're off grid. There they are, and now they're disconnected. So yeah, this is a hell of an upgrade and um, I'm very pleased with it. Very pleased that I've made it and it worked and I didn't blow anything up so far.